after the completion of DNA extraction, we can confirm the presence of DNA through gel electrophoresis. So in this practical, we will demonstrate the examination of DNA through agarose gel electrophoresis. Basically, agarose gel electrophoresis is a process which is used to separate the DNA by size using the electric field that induce the negatively charged DNA molecules to migrate towards the positive pole through the matrix of agarose. Now, before proceeding to the experiment, we will look at the required materials and instruments. For the agarose gel electrophoresis, we need DNA template, Six X loading die, which is bromophenol blue. A thedium bromide, which is a fluorescent dye, used to realize the DNA under UV light. Agarose powder. One X T A E buffer. Pipers. Measuring cylinder. Conical flask. Gel caster. Gel tank. And electric supply. First of all, we will weigh the agarose powder with the help of weighing balance. We will weigh 0.8% to 1% agarose gel. For this purpose, we will weigh 1 gram of agarose and will add into 100 ml of TAE buffer. After weighing, agarose powder will be added to the conical flask. Next, measure the 1x TAE buffer in the cylinder and add into the flask. Mix the flask contents well and kept in oven for one minute.
After one minute, take out the flask with the help of heat resistant glove and see whether contents have been dissolved or not. If contents are not dissolved, place the flask again in the oven until solution becomes clear. Let the flask cool for some extent. Now add 7 to 8 microliter ethidium bromide into the gel flask. It must be noted that ethidium bromide should be handled carefully because it is carcinogenic dye. After adding the ethidium bromide, now assemble the gel caster to pour the gel. Place comb in it to make wells. Now pour the gel in the caster carefully. When gel will be solidified, comb will be removed and gel will be placed in the tank. Add one XTAE buffer into the gel. It should be noted that same buffer will be added into the gel tank that was used for the gel preparation. Add the buffer to the level that sh gel should be completely dissolved 
inside the buffer. For gel loading, 2 to 3 microliter of 6x loading dye and 4 to 5 microliter of DNA template will be taken in PCR microfuge tubes. Mix the DNA with loading dye with the help of pipette and load the sample in the gel. With the help of micropipette, mix the contents of loading dye and DNA template and then load into the gel. Similarly, all the DNA samples will be loaded in the gel.
in first well you will load the dna ladder in order to quantify the size of dna After gel loading, cover the tank, plug in the electrode and turn on the power supply. Gel will be run at 90 volts for 30 to 35 minutes. When gel run will be completed, turn off the power supply and take the gel out of tank. Now we will realize the gel in the gel dock. We will observe the gel UV light in the gel dock. Here we can confirm the DNA through the bands on the gel.